to our channel i'm so happy to be here first off i want to sincerely apologize for being off air for two weeks for two sundays oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god i really want to sincerely apologize so many things you know so many things but hey we are here now no time to check time <laughs> we are here so you are welcome back to our channel and if this is your first time seeing this drag talk top face hello you are welcome just click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you will get loads and loads of fun you'll be notified anytime we just dish out on any of our goodies you'll just be notified so you're welcome back those who have re subscribed and you're a returning viewer thank you for always being there for us we are here because you are there yeah so today we are going to be talking about something very important okay what to look for in a spouse hey 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 okay don't mind me jerry what to look for in a spouse you know um first off i want to say there are good marriages there are still good marriages like good marriages so, trust me good marriages that the people are enjoying themselves it's not like they are not challenges or they are challenges but you know the love is there it has not gotten to the point of hey i cannot do it again or i want to go to my mother's house or i want to go to somewhere or uh -huh, no i can't deal no 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 it has not gotten to that point and it won't get to that point there are still marriages that god has ordained you know and the people the people involved in the marriages are they have understanding to sustain their love so i don't want you to to see marriage as ah, one of those things i beg i beg like, let me just shall marry i want to have a child let me shall marry because this you these days you know some so many people i used to have that mentality at any small thing i don't jack power i've left i've left the marriage i cannot come and kill myself i never believed that there will be a marriage that will not have issues you know and marriage that can just last you know more I, I i always have this believe that even the ones that are la that last the people they are managing they are just managing but hey i've seen marriages that have lasted that are still lasting and the people are still enjoying themselves not because they don't have issues but hey they have the understanding to know how to pull through out of every kind of issue you get so what to look for in a spouse you know there is this confusion if you're the type that ah i want to get married but who should do i get married to what kind of person uh, uh, how how you know one of my friends she she got her, one of her relationships failed and it made her to know what she wanted and what she never wanted so but i don't want to go through you want you to go through that route because they're quite uh the stressful route because you will have to first have your heart broken <laughs> to, for you to know that okay i don't want this i don't want this. so that's why i'm making this video for you so that you will know that okay these and these are these i want and these are the things i shouldn't it's, that is not necessary to get and i'm talking this, this from i'm saying this from real life issues issues that i've seen and personally so my first point is god-fearing spouse a god-fearing spouse hey 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 don't be too fast you know when we say god-fearing means someone that is a church goer that knows how to do things in church no 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 no. that's not the point i'm coming from now a god-fearing spouse to me is someone who loves god more than he loves you someone who loves god more than she loves you so if 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 i'm in a relationship with someone that i know he loves god so much uh -uh. I'm, I'm good to go i don't mean love god with mouth or love god with activity love god with his heart love god with his actions to get love god with every of his being of course if you love the lord if you love someone you will do things to please that person okay so, so someone who loves the lord loves the lord so much that he can't compromise even if you're the one do you understand that is my definition of a God-fearing spouse. And do you know the advantage of getting married to a God-fearing spouse? You are safe. You are safe. You shall just know that every of his decisions is, is, is spirit-given. You know, I married my husband. At some point, I was telling him something yesterday. I was just like, ah, I trust your judgment. 
There was a decision I was just trying to tell him that ah, if not that is you, I would have I would have jackpot since. Because I trust his judgment. Because I know he's God fearing. So I'm not I'm not sitting down, I'm like, oh <laughs> where is my husband now? This decision he's taking now. Maybe it's a selfish decision or what does he want to do? What does he want to get? Because I know he's a God fearing person. I know even if he's making a mistake because of his relationship with God, he will find his way back. So it's like a covering and I'm under him and I'm safe. I just feel so secure. I feel so secure. I just feel so secure. Even in the midst of challenges, even in the midst of, uh, you know, diggy, 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 here and there, I just know that ah, my, my head is whole. My head is healthy. So I'm safe under him. I'm safe under him. So that's the advantage of getting married to a God-fearing spouse. A spouse that you don't need to have high BP when he travels. When he tells you that he's going for a business trip, you know that it is a business trip he's going for. It's not a spouse that you have to get high, high blood pressure. Oh, where is he now? Oh, where is he? You call him, honey, where are you? Are you uh, and he says he's in so-so place. You say, oh God, how many women is he with there? Whether he's looking at the lady or whether, ah, ah. Those things are stress and those are stress that we bring upon ourselves. I don't know if you get me. So there's no need dating someone you know you can't trust. Someone you know that Abba, if he says this is yellow, you have to check again. You can't just close your eye and say, ah, if, if, if you call him and say, is that boy yellow? He say, yes, tell another person, yes, he said it's yellow and it's yellow. You have to go yourself and check whether it's actually yellow. Those things are things that uh, that gives that gives us you no. Know, it doesn't give us joy. It makes us stressed. So why not go for someone who is God fearing? And I want to debunk this theory of uh, God fearing brothers are not romantic. Um, they are the most romantic men living on this earth, on this planet. And you know why? Because God created romance, so He knows every nitty gritty of romance. He teaches His sons. He teaches His daughters. So, like I said. God fearing someone who has a deep relationship with God. Someone who has a deep relationship with God. It will save you the stress of so many things. It will save you as a lady the stress of so many things. As a guy, it saves you the stress of so many things. So you will not see your wife talking to a guy and you, you are all over yourself. Ah, who knows what she's saying? Oh, there is no time for that. There is no time. This life is short. So there is no time to get walked over by your spouse. So why not go for a God-fearing man? Go for a God-fearing lady. Go for a God-fearing man. Go for a God-fearing lady. Don't, don't, don't waste your time trying to look for someone who is tall, dark, and handsome. Of course, there are tall, dark, and handsome guys that are God-fearing now. So don't, oh, he's caring. He, he, he knows how to uh, take care of me. Yes, so he's good though, but madam, Will you chop caring over a cheating man? Will you chop a uh, love or what what will I call it now over someone who tells lies? I don't know if you get. There is no time for that at all. There's no time for that stress. Me, I can't deal. So I have to look for someone that is God fearing. So that I know, and of course, as a human being, there are some things that a God fearing spouse might not know, which you can put put him or her through that is why i say go for a girlfriend man because a god-fearing spouse is teachable you know there are so many advantages of getting married to a god-fearing spouse it's teachable so you say okay baby i i don't want this stuff like this i want it like that oh fine as far as it's, uh, it's in alignment with the will of god and you see that it moves so of course you don't expect to get a perfect spouse so but the advantage of someone who is god very is that if in his imperfection or in her imperfection she can learn she can learn over time and you see that your marriage and your relationship will be beautiful so please go for a God-fearing spouse. And as you're going for a God-fearing God spouse, make sure you two, you're God-fearing so that you will not frustrate him. You will not frustrate her. 
the rate at which marriages are crumbling today i don't want you to be part of it it is it is crazy it is crazy like it's a social media like you go to every almost every time you go to social media is that this one has jumped out this one has jumped in this one is this one this one. and most of those uh, marriages you see their weddings are so wow so beautiful you nailed down on one knee all the parara and everything yeah so i love those things but hey get sense get sense if your god fairy spouse is not a type that knows parara tell him that this is what i want or god is parara or let him like i said he's god fairy he will look for how to parara for you because he loves god and love is not selfish love gives so whatever you want as i said according to the will of god he gives it to you he doesn't hesitate because he has a master that will tell him how oh boy this one you didn't do it well though or you are doing it like this this is my daughter i want you to take care of her okay this is my son i want you to take care of him in this kind of man this is what he wants i don't know if you understand so please and please don't be carried away by the euphoria don't be carried away by the love don't be carried away by the you know the physical looks those things matter of course I, 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 time time is not on my side i'm going to make a part of this video when i will talk about physical attraction Phys physical attraction is important also very important but hey the important thing pardon my english the important thing is that he's god fearing because when a, a physical a, a good looking man someone you're physically attracted to can be a thief yes he can be a thief that doesn't make him a perfect person he can be a thief so why not go for a god-fearing person why not go for a god-fearing person money is important to oh. physical looks is important to oh. um compatibility is important but go for a god-fearing person Okay, that is where I'll wrap it up today. I'm going to make a part two where I'll talk about physical attraction. I'll talk about compatibility. So don't miss out. But for today, get this at the back of your mind. A God-fearing person is it. It is, it is the it is the sum total of all you should be looking for. In fact, that should be the grandfather. Other ones are the children, grand grandchildren. So when you get this one, other ones can be can be can be uh, uh, um, shaped. Do you understand? Other things can just follow. Other things can follow. But this is the main thing. These are the things that, this is the thing that you should look out for. This is the thing that you should look out for. And you will not get disappointed. So thank you for joining us today. We will see you next week. Bye.